Hey everyone! Welcome to another Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday! Over the last few weeks, Engineer Albert has been working hard to make water's infrastructure thoroughly robust, in anticipation of using it for gameplay in later alphas. But I'm afraid that if we made a Desktop Tuesday about that this week, there would be very little to see. Just the absence of the horrible water body merging errors that you've had in all the alphas previous to this one, and a bunch of brand new errors in edge cases. So let's save that for another week. Instead, let's talk about a feature he did revise with your feedback between alphas 20 and 21, spaciousness. One of the reasons we're really grateful to be developing Stonehearth in early access with all of you is because your feedback allows us to change the game to be better sooner rather than later. For example, in Alpha 20 we added Hearthling awareness of personal space. If Hearthlings were in spacious interior areas, their happiness improved. If they were in cramped corridors for long periods of time, they got cranky. We did this by casting a series of rays out from the Hearthling's head and using these to form a polygon around them. If this polygon was fully formed, the Hearthling would consider their surroundings spacious. If the volume of the polygon decreased, they'd be unhappy. Soon after releasing this in Alpha 20, we got feedback from many of you that creating the polygon centered around the hearthling meant that they'd always be upset if they spent any amount of time in the corners of otherwise spacious rooms, leading you guys to put your beds, workbenches, and other furniture in the centers of rooms. Well, cool, this is not at all what we intended. We wanted you to put your furniture wherever you want. So Engineer Albert went back to work to refine the algorithm to allow for more flexible interpretations of personal space. There are several ways we could have accomplished this. For example, we could have allowed the polygon to squash itself like a really flexible water balloon. As long as there was enough room for all of the volume to fit, the hearthling would still feel unconstrained. This, however, didn't feel right to us because people really do feel claustrophobic in long but narrow corridors. So instead, Albert went for a hula hoop model, very similar to the one the Stonehearth Discourse user Agon described, in which hearthlings are satisfied with their personal space only when they have the full and unsquashed polygon around them, but in which they can stand anywhere in the polygon that they want. In Alpha 21, for example, your hearthlings can sleep in corners and still feel spaciousness if the room around them is large enough to contain their whole polygon. Hearthlings that used to be made unhappy by their corner bed location in Alpha 20 now are perfectly fine sleeping in the same bed in Alpha 21. However, in small rooms and narrow corridors, the edges of polygons get clipped, leaving hearthlings feeling cramped. Kudos and thanks to Agon, Yeti Chow, and Hyrule Symbol, and more on the discourse for talking us through a number of options, to Michael Handy and Bruno Supremo who sent us screenshots of the effects of personal space on their cities, and to Kythandra for sending us a magnificent underground city against which to test the effects of tiny rooms on hearthling happiness. Though it's possible this change might have come out in our own playtests, we're biased toward our own designs, so it's often much easier to see things that we need to fix through your eyes. So thanks again for helping us make the game stronger through your experiences and insight. And that's it for this week! Let us know what other things you wish we'd update here in the comments or on our forums at discourse.stonehearth.net. It can take quite a while to get actual changes into our schedule due to the time it takes to context switch between gameplay systems, but we're always happy to consider how we can, even if it's a ways away. See you next week!